glass. I get something very fruity, floral, and something just a smidge dry and chalky like. Kind of like Sweet Tarts candy. Welcome back on Common Sense Fam and Clan. Y'all know what it is. Uh, Mobile Ride Along. It's your man Uncommon Sense here. You know what you came here for. We about to get into this thing. Every single day. that we're going to review today is going to be bond number nine Chinatown fellas 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 I already know where you coming from but that's a woman's friend y'all know me I'm on common sense I'm adventurous enough to at least give it a shot I have this fragrance on body six sprays across the chest area In the top And in the base, and that'll do it for the notes. Y'all may say, Okay, that's all fine and dandy. What does the fragrance smell like on skin? You know, I got you, right? I'm gonna leave you out there. initial blast I get something very fruity floral and something just a smidge dry and chalky like kind of like sweet tarts candy it's a beautiful fragrance I can see the ladies loving this yeah! fellas I'm not 100% sure if this will be your jam but if you like floral fragrances I think I smell a hint of neroli or something like that something in it kind of smells like fruit loops and or fruity pebbles It smells good though. I like what this fragrance is doing on my skin. To me indeed, it's an uncommon scent. Nobody will necessarily think I'd have one Bond number nine Chinatown. I'm willing to bet this is a Florental or Oriental floral. It's a fragrance that I clearly see individuals being able to wear to work. I could also see this as a kind of going out fragrance not necessarily to the club but a outing it has the event appeal I can definitely see this being worn by individuals who want to be taken seriously want to be seen as sexy because that's the language it speaks it's a sexy fragrance it has a sensuality to it it's not a loud fragrance. It sits a little closer to the skin, probably like right in your immediate. You definitely get to enjoy it coming off of your skin. I don't know much about longevity yet. This is my first wear. No, we're gonna do. We're gonna give you some details right now and then come back at you a little bit later with a recap once work wraps. What else am I picking up in this fragrance? Have I smelled anything like it? I've not. I've not smelled anything like this fragrance yet. But I'm sure on my scent journey, I, I may come across it. And the interesting thing about this one is I cannot pick up very specific notes. Whew, these bumps. Shit. They give me every time. I should know better. I really should. But I don't. <laughs> I lost my damn train of thought. <laughs> Specific notes. I'm willing to bet there's a neroli no! bergamot yeah. citrus. I do not know which floral this is though. I would definitely say it's a lighter 
floor or like a peony. Yeah. Or a carnation. No! Something like that. It has a slight sweetness to it, but it's a grown sweetness. It's not a juvenile sweetness. Distinguished sweetness. I dig it. I dig it. Now, first P, presentation. Love the presentation. I even like this itemizer that they sent me. Pink to represent Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Sinbox also sent me a envelope that was fuchsia with the pink breast cancer awareness ribbon on it as well. So shout out to Sinbox for that. Again, disclaimer, I'm not a paid spokesperson for Sinbox. I just want to share with you guys my experience and share my scent calendar to let you guys know all about what Uncommon Sense is doing, right? Right. Price. Bond as a house. Smidge price too. I think you can get this one at the discounters for maybe about 120, 150, somewhere in there. Projection, at this particular point in time, I'm a little buttoned up, so I don't know if it's gonna project much. But, projection, I don't see or experience a lot of projection with it at this particular moment. It's sitting closer to the skin. Projection may be a little less than a foot. But then again, I would go ahead and describe this as a sensual, delicate, beautiful fragrance. And when you're beautiful, you usually don't have to be loud to get attention. Just, just my experience. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna withhold my reservations. Hold my reservations. I'm gonna withhold how I feel about it right now and maintain my reservations on exactly how I feel about the fragrance until I at least have it on for the better part of the day. Same with performance. We'll talk more about performance once the day wraps. That's going to do it for us for the first leg of this journey. I'm almost at work. Right now I'm getting some citrus. It's something citrus or something just a smidge dry. I wonder if it's a wood accord there. Yes! Picking up that very sophisticated sweetness. I'm digging it though. Hmm. Mm. Me like it. Me like it. That's enjoyable. You may have to go for me a few more spritz, you know? Not being indecent. It smells alluring in the air, I'll tell you that. Like when it hit the air, it makes me want to take a deep breath and be like, who that? Who that? How about you guys? I'm enthralled with smelling as much as I can smell and experience and as much as I can experience in the realm of fragrance. That's what your scent journey is all about. Uncovering more. You know? Pushing the boundaries. Testing your theory of what you have always held to be true. And what I've always held to be true is I like what I like and that's it. Meanwhile, there's an element of truth to that. I don't know what I like if I haven't given certain things a shot. Some stuff you know you don't like. You know, you don't have to try to be like, oh, you know, I have to try it. Nah. Some, some shit you know you just don't, you don't like and that's that. <laughs> but I am pretty adventurous. I'm usually willing to try everything at least once. And... I'm actually glad I've given a lot of fragrances that were typically marketed toward women a shot because I could have technically missed out on a lot of good gems. And I don't like to miss out, especially on the good stuff. The bad stuff, you can keep that. The good stuff, count me in. Don't leave me out. Pay me, don't delay me. It's actually going to wrap it for the first leg of our ride along with bond number nine Chinatown. 
Make sure that you stay tuned for the second leg when we wrap the work day and we head on home. Welcome back, Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. I'm doing the wrap up to my earlier video, which we were discussing Bond Number Nine Chinatown. Now, we're gonna go through the peas rather quickly because it's a little dark out here. Um, downside to <laughs> being outside at six o'clock in Chicago, it's dark. So, first pea, performance. The fragrance performed really well. I can still smell it after eight hours. It hung in there with me. And that's what's up. I actually like a long lasting fragrance, especially for the price. The price on the fragrance, it's on the niche perfume side. You can get it at discounts for roughly about 150 ish. Now projection is not a monster projector. It, it didn't really project at all, but it did tone a very powdery and floral on my skin. So I am going to say it leans a bit more feminine. Depending on how you identify and how you like your fragrances, it's unisex technique for all intents and purposes. Rock with it, do your thing. Play, not many compliments. I'm working in the office. It was only one of my direct reports the other day. Maintain our six feet. I didn't hear anything about the fragrance from him. It's what it is, so no play. Although I kind of like how it comes up on my skin. It's a very clean, powdery, floral vibe. I'm not mad at it. It's just a little more feminine leaning on my skin than I would like. Is it a copper drop? In my opinion, I don't feel the need for me to add this one to my collection. That's just me though. It's not a bad fragrance. I just don't see me wearing this one often enough for me to have a full bottle of it. I may more or less wear the decan a few times and then gift it, or I may just run it out and not buy a full one. Either way, I'm glad to have experienced this fragrance, especially from the House of Bond, because, I mean, I like fragrances that are exclusive. I don't hear a lot of talk about this one, partially because it is a fragrance that's technically marketed toward women. I get that. So again, it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. I thank you guys for riding along with me. It's a little dark, so I have to cut all my little dome light, but I'm gonna cut that off because I'm about to actually hit the express <laughs> And Again, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I'm out. Till next time.